Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return worth having. When I sit in the beautiful morning waking hours listening to the birds, watching the guys for construction who've been building a building for many months walk by to go to work, I'm recognizing my life is different from theirs. And my life being different from theirs is based on my life choices, but it's also based on the liars of the land who thought they'd take away my choices. In life, we have to first recognize where our legalities are. What are the laws governing us? Well, that's pretty straightforward. If you're an American citizen, you are governed first and foremost by the treaties of the world that our president has produced in this world. No matter how old they are or how new they are, we are governed by our behavior in that way. Next, we have the U.S. Constitution. The U.S. Constitution enables citizens' rights. And in order to become a citizen, there's a process that you have to go through that's been on the books for a long time. And you don't get to walk into our country and become a citizen just because you feel like it. You don't get to walk into our homes and take things from us or take things out of our pockets just because you feel like it, like a three-year-old child who doesn't know his lawful rights under God. God has a very straightforward principle that's in almost every treaty and every constitution of almost every land. Thou shall not steal. In certain countries, they have severe penalties for theft. But let's talk about you. What are you stealing from God today? What rights are you taking away from the Lord above? I am often wanted to be helped by young, beautiful women who have compassion in their soul and a movement from God in their spirit, and some boy who's just happened to be standing next to her because he sort of likes her or sort of is a friend with her will talk her out of God's rights. The liars of the land are men. They do want to get laid, they do want to get paid, and they do get paid more than women, but there's some reasons for that. It is true that we need more equity and pay, especially for single mothers. But the truth is a lot of women go into their business ventures thinking, well, I have a husband that provides the main staples of my life, so I don't have to kill myself to make this business work. So they take many years to do their business. They never quite achieve what they could because they're not the only single breadwinner in their home. Now, that's not true for every woman, but that is the truth of what I've experienced in Midwestern communities, at least in Indiana. I can't say that's the same in Illinois where cost of living is higher. I can't say that's the same in other areas like Georgia or North Carolina where people are maybe flying, flying higher. But my point is that we have choices in life. And those choices in life align underneath laws, first and foremost, of all the governing nations that we support, not at all, that we support in our own world, our own station, our own nation, our own city, our own life. Those U.S. amendments to the Constitution govern our life. And thou shall not steal is very much a part of the Constitutional Amendment number four.